I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question from previous test paper. Show that 0 0.9 recurring is equal to 1.0. So let's write what 0 0.9 recurring is. It is 0 0.9999 kind of like this. That is what 0 0.9 recurring is. Now you can actually write this decimal number in x expanded form right so for example I could write this as 9 over 10 point 0.9 is 9 over 10 plus point zero 0.09 which is 9 over 100 plus 9 over 1000 plus so on right so kind of you get the series now this series here is a geometric series correct so what you land up with with the geometric series. So this is a geometric series. Now in this geometric series, uh, the first term is, let's say A, is equals to 9 over 10. And every time it gets multiplied by 1 over 10. So R is 1 over 10. Second, as it goes till infinity, it is infinite. geometric series correct and therefore we can find the sum of all this the formula for infinite geometric series is general formula is a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r but if n approaches infinity then r to the power of n approaches 0 if r is less than 1, is it okay? If r is a smaller number, then as the power increases, it becomes smaller and smaller. And therefore, the formula for infinite terms in geometric series is a over 1 minus r, right? This becomes 0, so a times 1, that is 0, right? So you get this formula. Now in our case, a is 9 over 10, r is 1 over 10. So we can write this as a is 9 over 10. So so let me write 9 over 10 divided by 1 minus r is 1 over 10, 1 over 10. Is that okay? So that is what we get. So this could be rewritten as, let me write here, 9 over 10, correct, times 1 over, 10 is my common denominator, 10 minus 1 divided by 10, right? So this I could write as 9 over 10 times, 1 over 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 over 10. Or 9 over 10, I'm showing you simple steps to do it, divided by this means times 10 over 9. Do you see that? Now 10 and 10 cancel, 9 and 9 cancel. We're left with 1. So it is exactly equal to 1. And therefore, we can say 0 0.9 recurring is indeed equals to 1.0. Do you see that? So that is how you can prove it. I hope this is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.